Hi, I wanted to make a video to promote a comic book company that doesn't have enough promotion, in my opinion. Um, the company is called Epicenter Comics out of San Diego, California. They reprint Italian Bonelli comics. Uh, they're mostly adventure comics and uh, not super, there's no real superhero stuff, a little bit, not much, mostly just adventure type stuff. And uh, I'm, I'm really liking it. I found out about them about a year ago. I found out about them through a YouTube channel by uh, comic book great Chuck Dixon. He, uh, he puts out a weekly video uh, called Ask Chuck Dixon where his fans can email him questions and he answers them in the video. And at the end of every video, he has a segment that he calls What You're Reading. And he talks about what he's currently reading. And about a year ago, uh, in episode 119, actually, I'll try to put a link in here for it. Uh, if I can't get one on screen, I'll try and put one down in the comments. But uh, he started off uh, one of his What You're Reading segments by talking about Tex in the land of the Seminoles. It's a, a, a reprint of comics from, I believe, the 1970s from Italy. Um, the, this company, Epicenter Comics, they're, they're basically you get their stuff through Kickstarter or Indiegogo. That's where I've gotten all my stuff. You can get them through previews, the previews catalog, uh, and you can order them through their, their website, epicentercomics.com. But they're all these really great hard covers and, and paperback, huge tomes of these Italian adventure comics. Um, so this is the one that I first heard about. I just, just done the little bit that he spoke about three minutes in his video about this stuff. And uh, just on that alone, I decided to give it a try. And <clears throat> I'm kind of new to crowdfunded comics. I've gotten several over the last couple years. And I'll be honest, a lot of them are kind of disappointing. Uh, but these are not. Um, so the first I got Tex and immediately after that, I got another one of their campaigns, uh, another reprint, uh, Alvar Mayor. Uh, it's another kind of Western, uh, adventure comic. Uh, this is called the, the legend of El Dorado book one. There's uh, I just received from them uh, book two and book three. Ugh. And uh, there's going to be four of these hardcovers in all. And I guess, I think, I'm not going to swear on it, but I believe when the fourth one is offered that uh, you get a slipcase that all four fit into, which is pretty neat. But uh, anytime you get something from Epicenter, they're always th there's always extra stuff like prints these prints came with alvar mayor mm -hmm. these prints came with tex in the land of the seminoles just great book size uh prints um another character i discovered and i i'll be honest i haven't read many of these yet because i'm a slow reader but, um, the re oh, the reason that after, after, uh, getting Tex, uh, in the land of the Seminoles, and then I discovered this Alvar Mayar, uh, a collection that they're doing, it's written by Carlos Trio. He's an Argentinian comic book writer, and I know him from his work with, uh, artist, um, oh, what's his name? Eduardo Risso? He's he's such a great comic book artist, Eduardo Risso. And uh, uh, Carlos Trio did uh, a series of graphic novels with artist Eduardo Risso called Borderline, which is kind of uh, a futuristic Judge Dredd type uh, uh, sci-fi. It's it, it was so good. So when I saw that. Epicenter was reprinting these Alvar Mayor in really nice hardcovers. 
and they're written by Carlos Trio. And I've read more than just what I just mentioned by Carlos Trio. He's he he's one of those guys that can write in any uh, genre. Uh, this Alvar Mayor happens to be like Old West conquistador Indians. Like I said, borderline was sci-fi dystopian future and he's got just a huge long list of things he's written so i i figured i couldn't go wrong with that and then once i got looking around at uh, epicenter comics offerings on their kickstarter and indiegogo uh pages like anytime i got i ordered something i would always order a little something else an add-on as one of their other books and one of the things that i i found was zagor uh, Zagor is, he's also just like an adventurer. He has, I guess, some kind of spirit power or something. I don't know. But <clears throat> I've, I've gotten several Zagor books now. These books are written by uh, the pen name Nolita, N-O-L-I-T-T-A. He is, that's the pen name of the Benelli... Sergio Benelli, the guy that ran, was the editor, main editor for all of the Italian comics, the company that published all this stuff originally back from the 40s through, I don't know, till today, I'm not sure, but uh, this is another great hardcover, and all these, all these Epicenter books, they always have, uh, in the beginning or in the end, they always have uh, text pages that uh, are kind of like DVD extras. They're like behind the scenes, they're profiles, biographies, background information, great stuff. So you learn about, I, I had no idea about any of these things, any of these titles, this company had no idea about it. I've been reading comics for 40 years, but mostly, you know, superhero Marvel DC stuff. Uh, so when I discovered this stuff, I didn't know much about it. So all the back matter that the epicenter puts in these books is great. Um, this is this is a, a where two of the characters meet, Tex and Zagor meet in this one. I think this was a recent a recent uh, book, not not very old compared to with some of these other reprints. Um, look at this! Look at this, Mama! This this huge in the jaws of madness, Zagor in the in the jaws of madness. Uh, when I was getting all my Epicenter comics together, I was, I was going to come out here and talk, talk them all up and everything, and uh, I happened to open this one up, and uh, the cover the cover's coming apart from the spine. It's kind of disappointing, but anyway, and anytime you get something, like the, the name of the fellow that's in charge of Epicenter, his name is Igor, and I actually emailed him a few times, and he's, he's great. He... He answers your emails very friendly very enthusiastic i asked him like is there a reading order do i need to read zagor or tex or any of these in order to understand it and he said no you don't um everything's just kind of like one adventure and it's self-contained and that's the end of it but you know reading one adventure it's like several hundred pages of comics but uh like anytime anytime he emails out orders like, there's always extra stuff. Like, the most recent order I just got was this character called Mr. No. Uh, I just got two Mr. No books from Epicenter from their latest Kickstarter campaign. And again, there's all kinds of, you know, background information. And I don't know, like DVD extras, which is great. I love it. <clears throat> uh, and anytime you get something like, Igor, he, he threw, like, he'll just throw, like, extra stuff in your, in your box when he sent, ships out your book. Like, he sent me this, uh, free comic book day, uh, how, uh, ta uh, Zagor, and then, actually, I picked this up, I think, at free comic book day at my local comic shop, but, uh, like, he throws it, he throws, he threw that in, like, there's always, like, bookmarks, like I said earlier, the prints, postcards uh there's this little mini poster that just came with my mr no order it's it's zagor uh 
but it's it's folded in half so that it's you know an image from I'm I'm guessing from one of the books but on the inside uh it's it's a tribute drawing this I'm not sure who this is but it's must be maybe it's Sergio Bonelli it actually I think that's Sergio Bonelli uh pen pen name uh Nolita who I think created Zagor and wrote Zagor for years and years and years um but this this is like a a little homage to him he's he's passed away I guess uh what did he he passed away mm, 2011 I'm not sure uh, a few years ago anyway but th like th prints postcards free comic book day comics like Igor is great Igor epicenter is great he like I said, always just throws in extra stuff. If you have a question, email him. He'll answer you. Uh, and so the reason that I wanted to make this video is because this, these, these books are great, especially for somebody my age. I'm almost 50. Been reading comics for 40 years or longer and have a lot of superhero stuff in my collection. But as you get older, the superhero stuff is not as, not as cool as some of this just like one man adventure uh high high adventure type stuff that that uh epicenter is reprinting from these italian benelli comics uh and it to me it's it's just it's it's almost like watching an old clint eastwood movie uh an old clint eastwood western the spaghetti western stuff with a little bit more sci-fi thrown in a little more fantasy thrown in a little more superhero thrown in not a whole lot of that really but Mostly adventure, high adventure, globe trotting type stuff. It's great. And what I was getting to was I wanted to make this video so that hopefully word gets around because anytime I sign up, I, I always sign up for their Kickstarter campaigns almost immediately, day one when they announce them. And <clears throat> it's always, you're always getting emails from the campaign from Igor saying, hey, we're, we're real close. We haven't quite got enough people to, you know, complete this camp. And it's always that way right up until the very end, right at the very end. It's somehow, somehow skates, skates by. And so it gets fulfilled. Uh, and I'd like to change that. So it's not so hair raising when, when a, a campaign is finishing, like I'd like to see these guys who do such a great job with these, these such nice books, uh, look great on your shelf, great reads. I'd like to see these guys do, you know, have a little more success with their, with their crowdfunded campaigns. So if, 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 uh, any of this sounds good to you, please share the video around to other comic book uh, collectors, readers, enthusiasts, people who like adventure stories, uh, man against a whole bunch of bad guys type stuff. Uh, it's uh it's well it's well worth it the the prices are are great you can't beat the price for how much you get and uh that's that's why i wanted to do this so hopefully hopefully uh this will help igor and epicenter comics not have such a a, a photo finish at the end of their campaigns hopefully uh we can get a few more people interested in buying this stuff because it, it's it's great stuff so I just wanted to do that. Just wanted to make this video real quick, show off some of the cool stuff I got. Hopefully spread the word. Everybody take care and go out and check out Epicenter Comics. Thanks.